Hi, I'm Cindy from BeDanceWear.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a bra and sew lace on top of it. So, uh, first thing you want to do is pick out the bra that you want. Make sure there's enough coverage up at the top. If there's not, when you're putting on that lace, what you'll want to do is instead of tucking right into it, you'll want to make it stand up a little, give yourself a little extra coverage. So first, get the bra that's perfect. Decide whether or not you want to go a little taller on it or not. Now you're going to take that bra, you're going to lay it flat. I've cut a strip of lace that's longer than I need. Um, on this particular one, I like this trim on the bottom. If there's an edge like this that you can just cut out and you don't have to uh, fold it over or finish it, that's perfect. And then you'll just cut around that particular uh, loop or decoration. Sometimes it's a flower. You can do it just like that and then you get that nice scalloped edge on it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay our bra down. We've cut out a piece of lace that's more than wide enough. Uh, we want extra so we have room to tuck. We're going to fold that long strip of lace that we've cut out. Just make sure it's longer and wider than your bra so you have room to play and twist and turn. And I'm going to put that right in the center. Now I know I want this scalloped edge to show past the bra. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin that into place. Now remember the bra curves and moves. It's going to stretch on the girl so you want to use stretchy lace or you want to put it on the girl and pin the lace into place so you know you have exactly enough room. Because I want to keep this scalloped edge, I'm going to go ahead and put pins throughout the skirt now, or throughout the bottom of the trim and the bra. Be careful if you're working with a piece of wire in the bra because that will make a big difference in um, when you go to sew, where you're gonna put that needle. Uh, it's actually very easy to do, but you just wanna go slow and pay attention to what you're doing. So we're gonna go ahead and put some needles in here. Now when we get to this top part, where this V is in the bra, where it dips down in the center, I like to just cut down about an inch or so from it. You're going to have room to play. You're going to want to, when you get closer, maybe maybe a little closer to like three fourths of an inch, because you don't want it to rip through. You want it to show through. Then you're going to take that piece of lace. If it's all the way pinned down here, then you're going to want to fold it over. Make sure that this line is pretty good. If you're dealing with someone who has a very large bust, you're going to need to take some pleats and things in the lace. But in this particular case, um, it's a B cup. So we're going to take that lace. We're going to fold it over the edge. Now, something you want to watch out for is if you pull down, you're going to make that size of the cup a little smaller. You want to keep it so it's taunt, but then there's plenty of room in it. And just play with it, move it around till you get to exactly... The cup is covered, but not pulling, tugging, not big gaps or pleats need to be made. And then you'll go ahead and pin that down. In here and up here. Now, I, whatever edge that you want to be uh, is the most important. If it's a scalloped edge, you probably want to sew the bottom of that first. That way you still have room to manipulate the fabric around. So on this, now it pulled up a little. So that's telling me that I have to go in and just give it a little bit more room here. There we go. So that scalloped edge stays exactly where we need it to be. Okay, so let's move this to the side. We're gonna go ahead, work from the back side, put it on zigzag. and nice wide stitch. It can be long as long as everything's stretchy. Uh, that way you don't have real concentrated small thing. I go over that center piece first. Before I get to the metal piece, I back it up. Some people like to take the metal out and then put it back in when they're done. Um, I find that that can be a lot of work. Now that you've sewn the bottom all the way across, we'll go back in later and trim the scallop. Now that we know it's all okay, um, double check what you have on the top. But remember, it's going to get pulled. So if it's too taunt, the bra is not going to stretch like it should. 
So looks like it's all okay. What I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna sew this part across the top from, from let's pull this over so you can see it, from the strap down, the cut part. Let's go ahead and sew that into place. We have it all pinned. Now I'm using, like I said already, different color thread so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Make sure nothing's pulling taunt, nothing's um, stretching the bra funny. We want to keep the same shape. Go all the way around. When you get to the wire, make sure, either push the wire out of the way or make sure the needle, hand crank the needle over that wire. Because otherwise that'll break and that will be a problem. Let's take this center one out. It's getting in the way. Make sure this is tucked in. And then once again, make sure that that wire is out of the way. Usually there's some play in the wire where you can push it. If not, what you can do is you can create a little hole, push the wire through, sew over it, and then push the wire back so that way it doesn't break on you. Let's go, let's double check this one. Make sure the angle is all right. And then we're just going to sew right over that. Now remember, this is the spot if you need more space, you would have wanted to, instead of going right over the edge of the bra, you want to kind of lift the fabric up a little to give you some extra space. So now that we've got that and this edge, I'm going to cut away the excess. Let's get it out of our way. Let's take all the pins out and cut away that excess. Don't cut too far over. You want to give yourself some room to play in case you need to. So then next, we're going to want to go right here. Now, when you get to that strap, what I like to do is cut a little bit higher than it, and then that way you can tuck the lace under so that that way it's finished off where the strap is. And then you're going to want to go wrap this side around. Pin it all into place first because you're going to need to play with it a little. Um, because of the curve of the bra, you want to make sure you don't have any gapping or gathering in the, the strap behind it or um, the part that the girl's going to put on. Make sure that lays flat and taunt and bring that around. This area of the bra is another spot that sometimes you need to just give a little extra room for the girls, a little extra boob coverage. It's up to you, but make sure and... Uh, that once you've tried that on, know where you need to make changes. And then we're just going to pin. The great thing about covering a bra, it gives you space to um, give more coverage where you need it. And then if you have a bigger busted girl on the team, she could get a bra that has a little bit more coverage to it. Um, and everybody could look the same because it's the same color, the same lace, everything. So we're going to get to this back strap here. I'm going to just cut into some of this space of this lace so I have room to play with it. I'm going to trim it down close to that strap so that I can tuck this in front of the strap like that, yet the rest can be tucked around the back. Not sure if you saw how I did that, but so by cutting a slice, let's cut a slice on this side too. This part goes folded underneath behind the bra, but this lace piece gets folded just like that. And then this part will go down like that. So that's exactly how that'll work. Gives you lots of room to play with it. Take your time and then fold this down here. Then you're gonna just sew it. Do the same thing zigzag. I'm leaving the excess in case I need to play with it at some point. When I get around this curve, I'm going to I'm just make some slices. I'm still going to keep it space, but that helps me get that curve around the bra. And just so. Now, you want to make sure and use a thread where you're not going to see the zigzags. Once you get to the spot where the wire is, make sure again, push it out of the way or pick up the needle. You can pick up the needle and skip just past it and then go back and sew it by hand. 
go right over that spot, zigzagging that into place. So then the last steps you're going to want to do is after you make sure everything's okay, then you just go in the back and trim away any of this extra lace because you don't want it to pop over the front. And then if you get to this end here, I'm just going to cut about an inch from it so that that way what you'll do is you'll fold this under here and just hand stitch that into place. But let's cut away all the other excess. If you do it long enough, uh, the, the end piece, you can tuck it back on the other side and then zigzag it. I'm gonna show you that technique right there. But trim away the scalloped edge because we want that just right. So we're gonna have this. We've taken this edge, folded it in, and then we're gonna put it against here. Wrap this around, and this is the scallop edge, so we want that long. And we're just gonna put it down. Watch out for any metal pieces. You don't wanna hit those with your needle. And you'll wanna zigzag it back and forth. And then it'll close it like that. So when you've done the other side, you'll end up with the same thing on this side and then it'll match up exactly in the back like that. And it's really that easy to cover a bra in lace. Thank you for watching our video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure and click here to subscribe because we're gonna have some amazing DIY videos coming out. And if you wanna get our free complete dance costume DIY guide, click right here or go to bedancewearer.com slash DIY guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video and remember, be original, be colorful, be dancewear.com.